Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. Uh, good morning to everyone, our beautiful listeners. Good morning. Uh, I want to believe that uh, we are all happy. Uh, my name is uh, Son of Limon Tupishi. Uh, I want to believe that everybody can access the slide. Today. Let me take this time. And I want to thank you for bearing with us the other time I was supposed to present this topic that is interesting regarding VAT. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, a topic of dispute at all times, more especially with the taxmen. So it's, it's a very interesting topic. And I want to believe that we were looking forward for the presentation and we had to postpone the presentation by the reason that I lost my son. And all is well now. And thank you for, for you know, for, for bearing with us, for, for praying with me. I want to believe that uh, you are one with me uh, during that difficult time. Good morning. Uh, so, yes, I'm ready now for the presentation. I'm back. And thank you for allowing us to postpone up until today. Thank you for, for allowing us to postpone. Uh, and thank you for, for welcoming that postponement. It was done in a short space of time because of the inconvenient that came my way. But I want to believe that uh, we are going to have a, a very interesting time. This is one of the topics that which, um, you know, is full of contestation and issues, especially with the textmen. So if we understand one another today, we'll be happy. If there be any question at the end of the slide, you will then <clears throat> question, then I will try to, by all means, to be in the same boat with you and answer uh, the question. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Philemon. That's my name. The other one is Tupishi Saneo. I'll be presenting uh, VET Act and VET Administration. Um, you can see there I'm holding the designation of business accountant in practice and the general tax practitioner and also the independent review practitioner of South Africa. I want to believe this. There is a slide there that speaks about the presenter. That's myself. As I said, I'm Flumon. That's my name. The other name is Tupich, but I love this one of Tupich. I don't know if um, everyone can be able to hear me. Okay, there is Deline. Uh, I can see Deline is saying good morning, please. Could you advise if this uh, training is being recorded for future viewing? Yes, it is recorded. For future viewing is recorded and the sound is perfect. Thank you. Thank you for helping me through. As I said, uh, I will present this topic and I, I, I still believe that there is more to be done on this topic. What I'm going to present to today, I want to believe it's almost 50% and the other 50% I will present it. Yes, because this topic is very interesting. I think that so far I've done most, most of my work about more than 20 cases that has to do with tax, with, with the pet. This is a disputed topic everywhere, every day. It's very interesting. Um, there I'm reading my qualifications. I've got become accounting degree from the University of Limpopo, maybe just to, uh, for the sake of time, I've got um, uh, <clears throat> become law from Stadio. It was formerly known as SBS, and I'm currently doing my LLB. The reason I'm doing LLB is because of this. You know, the interpretation of the law in terms of VAT. That is what I'm interested in. So hence I said, this topic is very interesting. Every day, there is an issue in this regard. Quite especially because um, I think as I'm going through the slide, I will explain more. So there I'm talking about my 10 years experience, and I'm currently... You know, our practice, practicing at San, our accountants, our branches, we have a, a branch at Secunda, and I'm currently at Rustenberg. As I'm presenting to you, I'm at Rustenberg. Uh, there's uh, Magdalene there. I'm watching also there. She says, can we post the questions now for you to answer at the end of the session? Yes, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. You can post the questions now, then I will answer at the end of the session because of time also. Because I want to believe that 
at least if I can be done by 10 o'clock or a fast 10 so that we have 30 minutes uh, of questions, that would be very much helpful. And then uh, we have got a branch also in Mokopani that is in Limpopo and Lepalali. First impact is based here in Northwest. Secunda is in Mpumalanga. So let us go into the course outline. Let us go into the course outline. The topics that we will be talking to you about the VET Act and VET Administration, compulsory and voluntary VET registration, important VET terms, important VET rules, VET and uh, business cash flow. Now, <clears throat> in relation to topic one, Maybe there is a quote today that are saying the secret to success is to be ready for your opportunity when it comes. This quote is very much important. Note it now and note it for the future. Take opportunity that comes and make use of it. The questions I will be only able to answer them at the end of the session for the sake of time. For the sake of time. At the end, I will make sure that I make I will make sure that there is 30 minutes enough. 30 minutes or more, even more than 30 minutes to answer questions. Because I know in relation to VET, there are many questions. Now, to our topic number one is VET Act and VET Administration in South Africa. Now, before we look into this topic, I want us to know when VET started in South Africa. VET was introduced in South Africa in 1991, the 30th of September. That is when VET came into effect in South Africa. Now, this VET issue is an indirect text. It's an indirect text by SARS. And that which is taxable to the final consumer, the person that consumed the product at the end of the day. That person that consumed the product at the end of the day is the one that, that that bears VET. You see, now if you read there, it says VET Act in South Africa is an indirect system of taxation which came into effect on the 30th September 1991. The indirect refers to the fact that tax is not assessing the direct, so it, you know, tax is not, is not assessing that tax directly, but indirectly through taxation of transactions. So the SARS is doing that indirectly through transactions. And then um, now, let's go into the real topic now. Now, VET administration in South Africa, this is made of two components. VET is made of two components. It's the output and the, you know, the input. One of the good days I was, uh, I was opportuning I was opportunity to come and lecture by you know it was um, it was a grade 12 session and they called me and when i got to to present the vet was still at 14 percent when i got to discuss the vet issues with the students the learners actually and i asked them what is vet they all lifted their hands and said vet is 14 percent now i want you to know that vet it's not 15%, but it's levied at 15%. And this is, this is very much important, that which I want you to note also, that VET is not a specific amount. It's only levied at that percentage. It's not a specific percentage, but it's levied at a specific percentage. I made it, you know, I wrote that intentionally because most of the time when you ask people, what is VET, they'll say, don't give you the percentage. But VET composes of two components, which is the output and the input. Now, if you are able to see the slides there, when I'm explaining the VET input and the VET output, I've highlighted key words. I've highlighted two key words there. Now, VET output is a tax in relation to a vendor, and it is defined as tax charged in respect of supply of goods and services. Now, let's check the difference now, that which I want you to know, by a vendor. This is when it comes to VET output. 
by a vendor. Now, when it comes to that input, and I will explain. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.